Yeah, see, that's a lot easier than the hand stable, isn't it? A lot faster. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, I'm coming up. Yeah. Right to the edge of the wood there. So I want to go around this, and then we're going to fold this over and get that corner there, okay? We have to go around the short side to the long, because when you look at the long side of the ottoman, and most people don't, do not look at the short end, they look at the long end, obviously, you don't want to see the pleats there. You'll see them on the short end, but most people don't look there. So you want your pleats to lay down on the long end. Okay, so you take your short end when reupholstering and go around the turn. And then you lay your, your, your long end down over top of the turn. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm coming right to the end. This is the end of my fabric right here. Staple. Fold that down like this. See that? Staple back on, right? And then we're going to take this as the long end. We're going to take this. And I hope you can see. I hope I'm giving you a good angle here. And you're going to, we're going to pull up like this, in and over, like that, okay? Try not to staple the fabric that's underneath, so you're not getting too much bulk there. See how it looks? Doing pretty good. Working out, right? And well. Now we're getting some, we are getting some bulk here, so what we can do Put it up right like this, you can see that angle. And we're gonna cut some of this away. We're gonna come up with our scissors and cut so we can start to fold this under. And I am getting some bulk from the cotton, but it's nothing, nothing major. It's pretty thick fabric too. So that, that's the taking consideration as well. That's that's alright. That's okay. I'm gonna put another staple there and grab my scissors. And cut right up this angle, like that, and you can feel the relief happen, I don't want to go too far up, I'm going to lay this down, see that, you see that okay, I'm laying that down with my index finger there, like that, and I'm going to staple back as far as I can, hopefully it grabs something, there's a block of wood here, and then I'm going to trim this up some, this is too much. Going up right around my staple. I don't know if you can see that. I just basically took out a little V section there. If you get too much cotton, which is happening a little bit here, because when you pull down, the top's coming down, the sides have cotton, and it starts to ball up there. Just pull some of it out, you're fine. You don't want to have too much. A great tool, by the way, is a regulator. You can buy this, and it's very sharp, so I keep a fork on mine because you can use it to push up in the corners and such and not stab yourself. It's basically a letter opener. That's all it really is. So I'm pushing down that cotton and I'm twisting it on top of the cell, but I still need to cut more fabric out. Okay? I'm coming up a little bit higher on that cut. I'm going to take this out, I'm trying to reduce the bulk, like that, I'm getting some cotton build up still, so I'm going to pull a little bit more out, push some more up in the corner up there, and fold that under, I'm going to put one more staple up a little bit higher up here, Get to lay down a little bit more. Look at that, it's starting to come together. See, you just gotta work with it, keep working with it. Can you see that angle there? Just gonna keep on working with it. I'm getting a little puckering right here, and that's due to this cotton, not to mention the fabric that I stapled down a little bit ago. So I'm gonna take that out. Let's see, right now I'm cutting through cotton. Folding it back underneath itself. 
pushing it back underneath there. And you don't want to pull down too hard because then your other fabric is going to start to pucker. See that? If that happens, obviously, let up a little bit on that. I'm folding this under. I hope you can see that. Take your regulator, shove that back up in there. Now that's looking pretty good. You staple that, gently steam it or warm iron over top if the fabric can handle that. Don't do that with silk or something. I wouldn't even attempt this with silk. It's too, too light. You have a clean, crisp line right there. That'll work really well. You can just leave it like this or you can hand stitch it, but we'll go over that a little bit later. So I'm going to finish up the corners here. I hope you learned on how to do that corner there. If not, rewind it, see it again. It's very simple. Keep the bulk down and keep the corner sharp. Now I figured I'd finish the last one up to give you another uh, look at the, how to close a corner on this. And this fabric here, she's really low on fabric. I'm going to cut this off like this because believe it or not, I'm going to get my cording out of this. I think I can do it. I got a little piece over here as well because it's going to look good with cording. Okay. So what we need to do is, like I said, the short side needs to go around to the long side. That's what I'm working on now. I already have the other three finished. So I'm going to come around like this. Okay, I'm going to put a staple right at the very end, like that. And I'm going to pull this up. See that 90 degree there? Actually, that might be a 45. That's okay. Right here, I'm going to put a staple there. Then I'm going to put some staples over here, because I'm going to establish how I want my fabric to lay over here. Don't pull down toward this, you'll get a pucker here. And don't pull too taut toward the bottom of the ottoman because uh, it's going to take a nosedive. So just try to keep it as square as possible. I'm going to pull it up because it's easier to do it that way, okay? So I'm going to come up like this, come in about, say, an inch. Make sure I'm not sleeping through the other side of the fabric. Just like that. Now i got to work with the excess. So I'm going to take a cut with my scissors and come straight on down here, okay? I'm going up to the last staple. I'm getting cotton build up again there. So you see what I did? Staple, 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 cotton build up. Let's get rid of that. Try to keep the bulk down as much as possible in the fabric, so I'm going to cut this now. I'm going to come around to the staple right there, but I'm going to cut this off. Now we have this fabric to come around, and as you can obviously see, it's too much. But start to see how the fold's going to work first before you start cutting anything, okay? It's too much, but it's looking, looking pretty good. I think I need to put a snip a little bit more up into that corner, just like that. I think it was getting a pucker. That should help. Yeah, look at that. That's looking pretty good. So now I just need to get all this excess fabric out of the way. So what you do is just hold this out like this. Don't get too close. You can't see the edge, unfortunately, because of the angle you're in. But we're not going to get too close. We've got an inch away. About that now. Take the long end and start pulling this away. Up with your hand. Take staple. Put one right next to each other there. And then we're going to start working this fold. I got this piece right here, this piece right here is too too long. I don't want to tuck all that underneath there, so I'm just going to cut that out. Just like that. Just take your time, you know. I'm sure it's unnerving when you're snipping away the fabric. You're not exactly sure what you're snipping for or how much to snip off. So I'm going to take a little bit more off. Just take your time. You don't want to undo this whole thing. That's looking pretty good. This is a nice square ottoman, so it makes it easier to get these angles. 